Brooke, an ACE certified personal trainer and a health and wellness director here at the YMCA in Central Ohio. Welcome to your workout of the day. Today's workout is a strictly core workout, so you're really going to work into those abdominals and obliques. Okay, let's go through our exercises. All of this set is going to be one exercise performed for 30 seconds with a 15 second recovery. Once you get through one set, you're just gonna go back up to the top and complete it two more times. This is gonna make for about a 20 minute workout. Okay, let's get down on the mat. Move number one, our alternating heel touches. So the back is down, feet are down, and knees are up. We're gonna extend those arms, crunch up, and alternate tapping our heels. This is really gonna work into those obliques. All right, let's see what's next. Alternating bird dogs. So we're going to come to all fours. Wrists are under our shoulders and knees are under our hips. We're going to take an opposite leg and arm, extend and crunch, extend and crunch. Okay, bicycle crunches. We'll round that back again. With this one, we're going to support our head and neck. And when we crunch up, our opposite elbow is going to meet our opposite knee and switch and switch just like that. Really going to get into those obliques on that one too. All right, we have cross body mountain climbers. We're going to find that plank position with our wrists under our shoulders. Glutes squeeze to keep the hips in line and opposite knee to elbow. On this one, you are going to have some rotation in the torso. That's what makes the workout so great. But try and keep your hips toward the floor as much as you can so it's not just twisting in the hips and you get to really use that torso. Let's see what's next. Crunches, classic. On that back, feet down, knees up. Support your head and neck and crunch. Really paying attention that we're not overstraining the neck. Okay, double jackknife. We're gonna do this one first on the left and then on the right, so you can just roll over when you're ready to switch sides. On one side, we're gonna use this oblique to squeeze the legs up and crunch the upper body up. For a little bit more support, you can take this out arm forward. And to make it more challenging, you can even lift it up. All right, after Jack Knight's on both sides, we're gonna finish with flutter kicks. A few options on knees. For a challenge, you're gonna take your arms out to the side, but if you need to support your low back, you can take your hands under your low back, still squeezing your core to press your low back into your hands. We're gonna lift our legs up and flutter. So after you complete those exercises, again, back up to the top two more times. Don't forget, if you're working out with a friend, please practice good social distancing and proper sanitation techniques. You can log this workout as a Y strength exercise in ytrack.org toward your Stay Healthy 600 challenge. Thank you for being a sustaining member of the YMCA, helping us to move forward with our cause-driven work.